Today we're going to be discussing smoking in nursing homes. My name is Barry Doyle. I'm a lawyer in Skokie practicing nursing home abuse and neglect work throughout the state of Illinois. I'm also the author of Built to Fail, a free report available for download from my website, which spells out how the nursing home business model inevitably produces unnecessary injuries and deaths for nursing home residents. For many people, it's sort of a surprise to hear that uh, nursing home residents can smoke. Um, nursing homes are, are healthcare institutions, and you would think that uh, given that, that it's a healthcare institution, that smoking would be prohibited. But uh, the thing that has to be kept in mind is that nursing homes are the home for the, the residents. The residents are adults, and they have the uh, right to engage in smoking, even, even though it's not good for them. Now, for most nursing home residents, there, there are risks that are associated with smoking, and like any other risk, that has to be addressed uh, by care planning by the nursing home staff. There are really two main risks that are, that are associated with uh, smoking. Um, one is the, the uh, use of smoking materials, uh, including cigarettes and lighters, near compressed oxygen. This is something that, that can cause a, a very serious flash fire. Um, the other risk is mishandling of smoking materials. Um, typically, you know, what we're, we're talking about are people who have some type of movement disorder where they're not able to hold on to um, uh, cigarettes or lighters uh, very well and end up dropping them, uh, in, you know, typically on their clothing or on blankets. Um, uh, most often, you know, th this is a really serious risk when, when that is uh, sort of married with, with residents who have some degree of dementia or confusion so that they don't really recognize that they've dropped something and uh, that uh, the uh, clothing or, or blankets or whatever else has begun to uh, smolder and uh, begun, begun to catch fire. So generally in, in nursing homes, the, the uh, use of smoking materials is something that is restricted to uh, a given area. Usually there's a smoking deck or a smoking patio, and uh, what, there are designated smoking hours when there will be staff members out, out on the deck or the patio to monitor what's happening out on the smoking deck. Um, if there are issues that, that are, are uh, of concern with residents using uh, the smoking areas uh, um, during non-monitored hours, or if they are smoking elsewhere in the facility, like in their rooms or in common areas, then you know this is something that requires more assertive action by the staff. Typically, it involves them keeping uh, materials uh, at the nursing nurses station and only giving them to the resident during designated smoking hours and for use in designated smoking areas. Um, the, the, the failure of the, the, the staff to monitor the use of smoking uh, materials uh, and to supervise uh, their, their use is, is something that really does pose a serious risk of harm, um, you know, most commonly in the form of burns. So I hope this has been interesting. Thank you for watching. My name is Barry Doyle. If you have any questions uh, regarding this, you can reach out to us at 312-263-1080 uh, or you can reach us on the web at www.accidentlawillinois.com. Thank you for watching.